Thanks, Ainsley. Well, from implementation delays to skyrocketing premiums, Obamacare has suffered a host of setbacks. But the plan's next blunder might be something far worse and to put Americans' privacy in jeopardy. This is going to be one of the greatest collections of private information on American citizens that we've ever put together. It requires that that kind of data system be secure, and they're not ready to have the kind of security that will guarantee the integrity of that information isn't violated. All right, so what needs to be done to ensure that this database won't be a one-stop shop for hackers? Joining us now is the founder of Fortalis LLC and co-author of the book, Protecting Your Internet Identity, Teresa Payton is here. Teresa, nice to see you this morning. Explain, I, we've been talking about it here on the show, but for our viewers who are new to this topic, what is this database of your health information going to look like once it's implemented? Well, and you're right about that, you know, that database of your life. What is it going to look like? And one of the things people have to realize is the data exists today. So the data is at the IRS, it's at the VA, it's at the Social Security Administration. But what they're talking about doing is unprecedented. They're talking about creating this one-stop shop so when you sit down to see if you have the eligibility to be in the system, they're going to look at seven federal departments and agencies' information. They're going to look at the state systems and determine your eligibility all in one place, one desktop, lightning speed fast. So your entire life moved from all of these different agencies, which may have not been secure as it stands now, now in one place, making it very easy for people to access. And I have been saying here on the show, I think I brought this up last week, which is, yes, I'm concerned about our government. We know obviously what's going on with the NSA, but what about the Chinese? What about other governments who have infiltrated parts of our computer systems already gaining access to my family's health care? I mean, we don't have these safety mechanisms in place yet, as far as I understand. Well, and you're absolutely right. You mentioned maybe they're not safe today. I mean, no system is unhackable. Right. Every system can be penetrated. And so when I hear terms like never been done before and one-stop shop, the first thing I think about is it's a one-stop shop for hackers. It is hacker's haven. I mean, it's we've made their job simple for them. They can go to one place and get this information. And we know the inspector general saying, look, we're not hitting these timelines. So we might not be ready when this thing is ready to go roll out to be, be able to test this. You advise companies all the time on how to keep their systems secure. If this was a business, if, if our government was run like a private business, how would you advise them to keep it safe? You know, we face this with companies all the time, and I faced it too as a CIO. And, you know, you, you have this situation where dates slip. That's not uncommon for dates to slip on a big system like this. But if this were a business, the first thing I would say is get the testing team in here and ask them, would you bet your career on this that you can test this adequately for privacy and security and we can get all the fixes in on time? Testing professionals are very proud of the work they do, and they'll tell you if they can't. The second thing I would say to the business is you've got three key points you want to look at. The first is you will be hacked, not will you be, you will be. So have you created any trap doors so when the bad guys get in, you literally cordon them off and don't let them run off with the data. The second thing is have you had a group of good guys and good gal hackers, those white hat hackers, ethical hackers, come in and hack you like they're bad guys and tell you what they found? And then the last thing, and this is one of the things that gets overlooked, is what type of training are you doing for the people? I was really encouraged to see in the Federal Register, they're gonna do privacy training for these employees, but there's another element here, it's fraud. Hmm. And we wanna make sure that you've got people who are trained to know that the person on the other end of the phone or the internet is really who they're pretending to be, right? Yeah, absolutely. Teresa Payton is the founder of Fortalis LLC, and Apple was hacked two weeks ago, and we're down, was down for two weeks, their developer site. We appreciate you joining us this morning. We hope the government's paying attention to you. Thank you.